Carabello sign was described by Carabello and colleagues in 1979 during cardiac catheterization for critical aortic stenosis. When the catheter from the left ventricle is withdrawn into the aorta, the pressure in the aorta rises because the further narrowing of the aortic valve orifice caused by the catheter in the left ventricle across the aortic valve is reduced when the catheter is withdrawn from the left ventricle. That is Carabello sign described by Carabello and colleagues in 1979. This is the demonstration of the Carabello sign. You need catheters. One which has to go into the left ventricle and from there you have to pull back into the iota. Another should be monitoring aortic pressure separately. Or else you could use the femoral catheter side arm, femoral sheath side arm for monitoring a surrogate of aortic pressure. But caution is the the catheter size should be one French size less than the size of the sheath. Otherwise the sheath will be obstructed by the catheter within the femoral sheath and the femoral sheath monitoring will be damped. It will not be useful to, for demonstrating this. Or else you can puncture the contralateral femoral artery and have another catheter in the aorta in addition to the one which you are going to introduce into the left ventricle. So this is the left ventricular pressure. When the left ventricular catheter is pulled out into the aorta, there will be a difference in the pressure that is known as Carabello sign. This is the um, uh, second catheter that is the femoral artery or uh, aortic catheter which shows a lower pressure when the LV catheter is inside the left ventricle. When it is pulled out there is a rise in pressure in the catheter. So that is known as Carabello sign that is aortic catheter or femoral artery catheter will demonstrate a rise in systolic pressure when the left ventricular catheter is pulled out from the left ventricle into the aorta. This is the diagrammatic demonstration of what happens when a catheter across, is across the critically narrowed aortic wall. This phenomenon occurs when the area of the critically narrowed aortic valve is the less than 0.5 square centimeter. You know that even a 6 French catheter has a diameter of 2 millimeters. So when this is already critically narrowed and you have a catheter across the aortic valve into the left ventricle, the orifice is further narrowed. This becomes significant when the valve area is already below 0.5 square centimeter. And uh, in case of uh, valve area at 0.6 square centimeter itself, Carabello demonstrated that about three fourth of the patients will demonstrate this sign, Carabello sign. But if it is more than 7.7, .7, it is not seen. So if you want to have this sign, it should be typically below 0.5 square centimeter of aortic valve area and at least 0.6 square centimeter that is in relation to the size of the catheter this is the time catheter fluid i mean uh, filled with contrast then uh, carabello revisited the carabello sign in 2012 in an editorial written in circulation and he himself mentioned that in the era of 1979 there was no doppler echocardiography documentation usually artic stenosis was documented by cardiac catheterization. Now everything is by Doppler echo and in that era it was more of rheumatic aortic stenosis and congenital aortic stenosis but now we have more of atherosclerotic aortic stenosis. Secondly with early documentation by Doppler echocardiography and early management the sign may not be observed so much because we may not catheterize the cardiac catheterization, may not be done in all cases of aortic stenosis and left ventricular entry may not be done in many cases because it is going to be 
difficult also because entering the left ventricle in critical aortic stenosis with a catheter is not an easy job you have to put a guide a guy and uh, cautiously try uh, for a long time to enter the left ventricle and of course there is a chance of developing syncope if uh, the patient has critical aortic stenosis so this seldom this sign is seldom observed these days because of our ubiquitous usage of doppler echocardiography detection of aortic stenosis earlier change in pattern of aortic stenosis that is the age group and the etiology and also early management of aortic stenosis critical aortic stenosis